What's up, guys? Would you like to know why we're here? To defend the animals. To what? Say that again? Defend the animals. That's a very good way of putting it, to defend animals, yes. Where are you from? France. France. All of you? Uh, no, both of us. Okay. Yes. And you? Where are you from? China. China. Okay. So, yes, that's a really good answer. I've actually never heard an answer like that. Yeah, that's what we're doing specifically. How do you feel about animal abuse? That's horrible and awful, I will say. Yes. And so we're showing footage of the meat, dairy and egg industries and also other industries that abuse animals, but they're the main ones. So what do you think that you can do about that uh, as individuals? Uh, I'm asking all of you, by the way, not just him. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> eat less? Do you think that's the answer? Be a vegetarian. Not vegeta <laughs> we're not promoting vegetarian because vegetarians still harm animals. What we're promoting is vegan. Oh. Have you heard that word before? Yes. Yeah. You know what it means? It's yeah. someone who doesn't eat any animals, any milk, any... Anything that comes from an animal. Uh, uh, yes. That's Makes sense? It's pretty simple, isn't it? Yeah. So do you think that you can be against animal abuse while eating meat, dairy and eggs? Uh, good question. Uh, uh, yes. How? Uh, I don't know. But I know that it's very cruel, but it's really hard to stop eating meat, I will say. Is it harder for you uh, to stop eating meat, or is it harder for the animal to be turned into meat? What do you think? Who's it harder for? Yeah, he's doing all the talking. <laughs> Is it harder for you as a human being to make different choices? Or is it harder for the animals who are stabbed to death and turned into sandwiches? It's harder for them. Yeah, okay, so it's pretty easy for us then, isn't it? Right? So, every time you eat meat, dairy and eggs, you have blood on your hands. Because these innocent beings, they suffer just like you, each of you, suffer. There's no difference in the way that they suffer. Do you disagree? I'm agree. You agree? Do you all agree with me or am I saying something that you disagree with? Yeah, all agree. I think. Are you agree? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So, what do you think you can do about this? Because I know you said try not eating meat, but would you say that with any other injustice? Would you try to not abuse children? No, we have to do it, not try. Right. Yeah. Because if it's wrong, don't you just stop? Yeah. Right? Yeah, so that's what this is about. And you know what the benefit is for being vegan? Is, uh, living more long time, maybe? Your health? Yeah, health. That's separate. Oh. That's if you eat a plant-based diet and you do it correctly. It's separate to animal rights. So what do you think? Do you guys want to guess? What's the benefit for being vegan? Protecting the planet also. Environment? Environment. And That's separate as well. But it is good to know that animal agriculture is the most destructive yeah. industry to our planet, but that is completely separate to what I'm talking to you about right now. It's good to know that you wouldn't be supporting that. So what do you think is the benefit? He's answering all the questions here. Yeah. <laughs> so the benefit for being vegan, for the animals, the benefit is that they no longer get abused and tortured by you. You each no longer have to be the reason why these animals suffer. And then the benefit for you is that you no longer have to be a hypocrite. Because you say that you're against animal abuse. If you're not vegan, you abuse animals. It's that black and white. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so what do you think you'll do now then? Stop eating meat. And dairy and eggs, or just meat? Eggs, milk. Anything that comes from an animal? Yes. To be vegan? Yes. So he's going vegan. What about you two? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I just eat less meat. So again, like I was saying, would you take that position with any other injustice? Would you do less racism? Uh, or would you just stop racism? What do you think is better? What do you think is the right thing to do? Uh, like him? To stop, yeah. right? Yeah. Just stop is better, but 
it's hard for me. Hard for you or harder for them? Harder. Hard for me. What challenge do you feel you would have? Because I like eating meat. Yes. But do you think that your pleasure that you get from it justifies stabbing animals to death? Innocent beings who have done nothing wrong to you? Do you think it's justified to do that to them? Because you like the taste of their flesh? Or the taste of their milk? I'm asking you. Yeah, I think it's, it's not good for them. Do you think it's justified or not? It's unfair. Unjustified, right? Yeah. yeah? Okay. So what would stop you then from being vegan? What challenge do you see yourself having in that case? Are you against animal abuse, what you're seeing on the screens? And just the idea of stabbing animals to death for a sandwich, do you think that's wrong? Or not? Do you think it's okay? Uh, I think it's wrong. You do think it's wrong? Yeah. Okay. So then, being vegan doesn't change anything about who you are. You're being exactly who you are when you're vegan. The only thing that changes from this day on is your actions. Your actions will align with the morals that you say you have. Does that make sense? Yes. So when you're vegan, you just start living on purpose instead of just going along with what everybody else is doing in society and not thinking for yourself. Yeah? yeah? All right, would you like a card so you can make more of an informed choice? Yes, I would like to know. Okay, sure, what's your name? Max. Mats, you're very receptive and I very much appreciate you. Thank you. Because we're out here just trying to say something very simple to people. If you're against animal abuse, just stop supporting it. It's that simple. And then please say something like I've said to you. Speak up when you have the opportunity. Say something because these animals won't be listened to otherwise. Their voices go unheard. Yeah, that's right. So we have to use our voices to speak up for the voiceless. Yeah. All right, thank you for your time. Thank you so much. All right, you take care. Okay, so the little French kid that I was talking to, he just came back and the other two friends were waiting for him, but he came back about 30 minutes after that interaction happened. We were fully wrapped up. It might have even been longer than that. He came over to ask more questions and he wanted to get involved and I was really pleased with that. His friends were waiting for him, but he came over and asked about alcohol being vegan, about what I eat specifically or what vegans eat specifically and I outreached him a little bit further and I asked him if he wanted to also become active and join us and he said yes and then I gave him the information about Perth and how to join the local chapter here and that made my fucking day that he came over. He was so obviously down with veganism and wanting to speak up for these animals just goes to show that you don't know who's going to go vegan. I was certain that he got it more than the other two I was talking to in that interaction, but I didn't know if he was truly going to go vegan, and you never know. That's the whole thing. You never know who's going to go vegan. But he just came back and told me that, which was confirmation enough that he's definitely taken this seriously. Perth was a success. On to the next one.